ask the same question I asked the juror number one. Do you think you'd be a good litmus test for a BS detector if someone's blowing smoke? Oh, most definitely. Is that something you do regularly with your job? I do. Okay. Um, have you ever served on the jury before? Um, I've been called twice, but I've never served on a jury. Right. If I show hands, anybody actually served on a jury before? Wow, good luck. Juror number 12, what was your experience? Um, very, uh, very good. Um, what I thought he was guilty, and we all uh, agreed, all the jurors agreed, and we deliberated, and it was a, it was a nice uh, experience. It was four days. It was a pretty simple case, had to do with drugs, methamphetamine, and fentanyl, and uh, it was good. It worked out well. So it, her honor told you when you walked in that this is going to be a civil case. Now, when you did a criminal case, they had the burden of proof, do you remember you have to be beyond a reasonable doubt to find guilty? Yeah, yeah. In this case, it's more likely true than not. Do you understand kind of the difference between the two burdens? Could you explain that a little bit? Sure. It, with the, what our side has to prove is that more likely true than not, if we weigh this, if we have the scales of justice, it tips ever so gently in our favor. We win on that issue. And we have to prove that this manufacturer knew that there was something dangerous, they could have done something about it. Then they have to prove that Coach Jerry did something Based, based on that, that weighing test. Do you understand the difference? Yeah, very good. Can you put aside the, the criminal burden and, and weigh it by the burden we're talking about here today? I think so. It seems like a, a case that you, you, know, you get your hands around, you can actually know there's a lot of lawn or some type of physical product, mm -hmm. and you can see it moving and all that stuff. It's physical, it's right there, you can see it. Perfect. And can you hand back juror number six? We've not heard from her yet. Uh, we heard from juror number 12 the word uh, guilt when they did uh, he did a criminal case. If you find in this case, and it's one of the things we're going to talk about, outside of the, the pain and suffering for the widow, but if this company is, is guilty of doing something so ridiculously bad that you can punish them, is that something you're able to do? Or and some people believe that you know they just can't sit in judgment of others to actually punish somebody. Are you able to do that? What are your feelings about that, Jen? I think I'd be able to do that if the uh, evidence suggests that it was so egregious that they deserve punishment, then yeah, I think I'd be able to punish. Right. And are there any, um, let me ask you this, if, if somebody's using a product or a machine that is no, it, you, like a, lawn, a big lawnmower, if you know that, hey, that's something that can roll over and hurt you, okay? If that happens, are you of the mindset, you know what, it's buyer beware, you're doing it, it's on a big thing. If you get hurt using a big machine, I need to hear nothing else, that's on the person that was using the machine. How do you feel about that? I guess it would depend on the safety features of the vehicle. Um, if there was something that could have been added to make it safer, it would just depend, I guess. And some people say that you know, products just have to be minimally safe by like government standards. Some say reasonably safe. Some say safe at all costs. How do you, where do you fall on that spectrum? I would say reasonably safe. Okay. And do you know what, have you ever used a, a power saw or a cable saw? You ever? I have actually. Okay, and it, you ever chop off your finger? I see you got five of them. So no, yeah, like no injuries. Do right. you know any uncles or aunts that have cut their fingers off? I have, both my uncles have. Uh, no, actually I don't. All right, did, did it have one of those guards? It did, yeah. Okay. So, do you know anything about the history of those tables also, how they came to have those guards? No. Right. Does anybody generally know, how about your number one with your law degree? Do you know anything about that? Um, I don't. Okay. Um, if, if there's a simple safety feature someone could put on for even 50 or $100 to prevent something like that happen, even though 